Hi, in this video, I will tell you what to do before, during, and after earthquake. But first, let us know what is earthquake. Earthquake is an intense shaking of Earth's surface. It is caused by movements in Earth's outmost layer. Here is what you should do before an earthquake. You should be aware in every news. Social media sites have been the best source of information. Don't leave any heavy objects on the shelves because it might fall during earthquake. You must know how to turn off gas, water, and electricity. And also, you must learn first aid. Here is what you should do during earthquake. Stay calm. If you're indoors, stand against a wall near the center of the building. Stand in a doorway or crawl under a heavy furniture. It could be a desk or a table. Stay away from windows and outside doors. If you're outdoors, stay in the open away from power lines or anything that might fall. Stay away from buildings because stuff might fall off the building or the building could fall on you. If you're in a car, stop the car and stay inside the car until the earthquake stops. Here is what you should do after an earthquake. Check yourself and others for injuries. Provide first aid for anyone who needs it. Check water, gas, and electric lines for damage. If any are damaged, shut off the valves. Check for the smell of gas. If you smell it, open all the windows and doors. Leave immediately and report it to the authorities. Turn on your radio and stay out of damaged buildings. Be careful around broken glass and debris. If you're at school or work, follow the emergency plan or the instruction of the person in charge. And lastly, expect aftershocks. The Earthquake Plan I woke up in our new apartment. My bed was shaking. The ceiling fan wiggled back and forth. Look! My basketball rolled off a shelf. I put my pillow over my head. Finally, the shaking stopped. Mom and Dad came to my room. What was that? I asked. It was an earthquake, said Dad. Earthquakes occur in some parts of California. Let's make an earthquake plan tomorrow. The next morning, Dad made breakfast. Mom and I researched earthquake safety on the computer. If you're in bed, stay there with your head under a pillow, said Mom. That's what I did, I said. But that's because I was scared. Mom laughed. <laughs> I read the next part. If you're inside, you should drop, cover, and hold on. What does that mean? Drop to the floor and take cover under something sturdy. That way, nothing will fall on you, said Mom. This table is a good cover said Dad, setting down pancakes. If there's nothing sturdy nearby, drop down next to an inside wall. Stay away from windows. Broken glass could be dangerous. And don't use the elevator. Once you've found a cover, hold on to something sturdy. Put a hand over your eyes to protect them, said Mom. If I'm outside, should I run inside? I asked. No. Move away from buildings, trees, and power lines, said Dad. Then drop to the ground until the shaking stops. We'll make a disaster kit, said Mom. Aftershocks can happen even days after an earthquake. At the store, Mom bought a flashlight, a radio, and extra batteries. 
I got bottled water and enough canned food to last three days. But I didn't get any peas. Yuck. Back at home, Dad put tools in our disaster kit. Mom added first aid supplies and extra clothes. Suddenly, the floor trembled. We dropped to the floor and took cover under the table. I held a table leg and covered my eyes. I wasn't too scared this time. I knew what to do. <laughs> <laughs>